what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back if you are new here welcome to my channel where i talk all things beauty fashion fitness and wellness so if that is something that you are into and you vibe with me and enjoy my content then please double check and make sure you are subscribed this is going to be a review of some viral perfumes on amazon you guys one in particular triggered this video but a few of these i've just had in my collection and i've never truly done a full review on so i picked a bunch you guys and i've been testing them out for the past few weeks the ones that are newer to my collection and the other ones i can just speak on a little bit more in depth because i have had those in my collection for quite a while now so without further ado i'm going to go by house go through each perfume then of course at the end i will just do my final ranking like from worst to my favorites and my recommendations and things like that let's jump into it the first one is by Al Haramain this is the actual packaging of the box that is what it looks like so the packaging y'all one thing I will say about these Arabian perfumes is the packaging and like just the bottles for how much you get like usually the pricing of these is pretty affordable for the largest size and that is what this is so this is La Venture Rose and this is one that I was interested in because originally I was going to get the La Venture. That one is like, I guess the most popular one right now. I think the La Venture Rose might be newer. So not a lot of people were talking about it, but it did match the scent profile of a lot of rose vanilla scents that I have been liking a lot lately. So I opted to get that one instead of the other one, which said to be a dupe for Creed Aventus for her. And I have a couple of dupes for that fragrance already. So I really didn't feel the need to grab that one. And a lot of reviews were saying it leaned a little bit masculine and I'm not in the mood for scents that lean a little bit masculine right now. So Aventure Rose has top notes of rose, citruses and red berries, middle notes of rose, jasmine and base notes of amber and musk. And basically you guys this matches the scent profile of scents that are similar to like Rose's Musk, Rose's Vani by Mancera, Rose's not so much Rose's Greedy because that one has more of a chocolatey note but those fruity jammy rose scents that have a touch of like vanilla vanilla specifically listed in the bottle of this but i'm definitely getting something very creamy it could be how the musk is mixing with the amber but this one is beautiful to me you guys if you love those type of jammy rose scents again i think this is a gorgeous gorgeous scent this one had some amazing longevity and projection like literally y'all i sprayed each of my wrists with this one day and i smelled it like until the next day and I did not like layer or anything because typically when I'm testing a perfume for the first time I usually will not do a whole lot of layering just so I can see how the perfume stands on its own so this one's definitely beast mode and I really really enjoy this one I would say that this has actually a little bit more berries than some of those other scents so it smells sweeter to my nose if you like scents like Delina and stuff like that it definitely is in that scent profile that category but I would say there's definitely a little bit more fruitiness coming through just very feminine very elegant very delicate like this gives me this could easily be someone's like wedding scent or a scent that you wear on like some sort of lavish yacht like that's just the vibe that this gives me it just smells like she's a sister or a cousin or something to delena so if you like those types of elegant feminine rose just kind of jammy sweet musky scents then this is definitely one i recommend you guys check out and the next house which i believe is either owned by al haraman or that their sister house or something orientica so this is a part of the luxury collection and this is royal amber the packaging again you guys like get into it the box is like velvet or something and it's just really really beautiful not only is the box beautiful but get into this bottle y'all this one definitely intrigued me because this is said to be a dupe for Zherzhov's Herba Pura which I've never smelled before but it's supposed to be like a fruity ambery type of fragrance that's definitely what I get from this let me just spray it in the box so I love when fragrances come with like these boxes like this because you can just smell you can just spray it directly into the box without having to like put it on really 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 like this a perfect spring slash summer type of scent it's a very juicy fruity tropical ambery type of fragrance like it's not overwhelmingly fruity sweet and that amber just makes it a little bit resinous and makes it smell just slightly more mature. So it has top notes of bergamot and green notes, middle notes of amber, sweet notes, melon and pineapple, and base notes of woody notes, vanilla and musk. And that's literally what I smell, you guys. I get tons of pineapple and I get tons of vanilla and musk and it just, it just smells like a sweet, 
slightly fresh spring tropical type of ambery scent a very very easy reach especially when it is blazing hot outside i personally think this fragrance will do really really great in the heat this almost kind of reminds me a little bit of versace eros pour femme because it has kind of like that fruity almost like jelly bean gummy bear type of vibe and I think that's really just coming from that pineapple and the vanilla mixing together. It's not the most projecting or long lasting, I would say. This one definitely maybe gave me a good four hours and it kind of was a skin scent. So I can see you wearing this to a summer pool party or some sort of just outdoor event in the heat. Um, but yeah, if you if you guys like scents like Versace Eros Pour Femme, I think that this is definitely something you should consider and check out if you like those tropical fruity ambery type of scents and i also think this would go very very well with victoria's secrets bare vanilla heat because it kind of gives me that same vibe just that tropical fruity vanillic scent i like this one y'all the next one is amber rouge and look at the box i love how the box is like it's like a magic trick but anyway so this one is said to be another baccarat dupe and spoiler alert before i get into the details this is definitely baccarat rouge extrait okay which is said to be the sexier sweeter older sister of baccarat y'all i sprayed this in this box yesterday just to just to refresh my senses so freaking good i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all right now this literally will last you all day here's the bottle of course this literally will last all freaking day the longevity of this 10 out of 10 okay 10 out of 10 i would say it gives also a nice scent bubble as well like i don't want to say it's super beast mode because i haven't completely oversprayed i personally found that like four or five sprays of this and i was good all day so i definitely think that this one is a great performer it has top notes of saffron and jasmine middle notes of amberwood and ambergris and base notes of cedar and fir resin getting amazing results with this hot layer dry skin like literally just sprayed it on i didn't even spray my clothes i just sprayed it on my skin and i was smelling it on myself if you guys have ever smelled cloud 2.0 this gives me the same similar vibes that marshmallow Halloween, creamy sweet praline with a little bit of that sexy floral musky type of note it just kind of all blends in into this very mysterious sexy seductive scent and this is definitely one that's going to get you compliments you are going to smell like money you are literally going to smell like a 500 dollars perfume without having to spend on it so y'all now that i have this i really feel like i have no reason to purchase the baccarat rouge extrait because i was actually considering it but Girl, this is the closest thing that I've ever smelled to Baccarat Rouge Extrait and the performance is a 10 out of 10 for me. So I really feel like I have no reason to purchase that now. It's like a gourmand scent, but it's also a skin scent. Personally would not recommend blind buying this unless you know for sure that you are a fan of scents like that or a fan of scents like Cloud because otherwise, you probably will not like this, but I personally feel like this is a scent that will smell great on everyone because this is just so much sweeter and creamier. And also you guys, this seems to get sweeter each time that I wear it. So one thing that I've noticed, especially with Arabian perfumes, is you have to spray them a few times. You have to spray them a few times and then let it sit and then revisit it sometimes a month, two months later. Like a few of these perfumes, you guys, I actually could not stand. I first smelled them and sprayed them out and I had to revisit it. And I was like, oh, okay, like I can understand the hype now. So yeah, this one, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. The next house we are going to dive deep into is the House of Swiss Arabian. So this first one is Shagaf or Shagaf Oud, if I'm saying that wrong, my bad. And this is another one that was super like incredible Incredibly hyped up online and so many people love this raved about it like when I was looking at the top selling Arabian perfumes this was like in the top five so I was like okay this this got to be good y'all this has got to be good it has top notes of saffron middle notes of agarwood and rose and base notes of agarwood praline and vanilla and y'all this is like Kaylee's vanilla royale as soon as I smelled it I was like what does this remind me of this is Kaylee's Vanilla Royale minus the little bit of sweetness that's in there. So this definitely is like an amped up oud version of Kaylee's Vanilla Royale, which I have a full review of that scent up on my channel. So I will link that up top if you guys are interested. But this one, I don't want to say I don't recommend it, but this one's definitely not blind by safe. If you did not like Kaylee's Vanilla Royale or you were unsure about it, you will definitely not particularly care for this one because 
I feel like this is that minus those little sweet nuances that were in KLE's Vanilla Royale that made it likable and made the oud not stand out so much. This really leans super masculine to me and my nose. Now I do kind of see the potential of if I let this sit in my collection for a little while and I see that praline and that vanilla start to develop and start to deepen, I can see how I would like this. But at the same time, I feel like if I was ever in the mood to wear a scent like this, I would probably just reach for Kayali's Vanilla Royale because that one is already sweeter on me. It wears sweet on me. It wears more feminine on me. And I just can't see myself wanting to wear this in the future, even if it does get better, because I'm going to still probably want to reach for that perfume instead so yeah unless you just love oud y'all or you want to get a scent for your man that smells a little oody in middle eastern i definitely don't think this one is blind by safe at all this next one is casablanca by again swiss arabian this one y'all is literally a prime example of the whole let it sit thing that i was talking about because First of all, here's the bottle, very beautiful bottle. Again, with the fluid ounces that you get for these prices, y'all. Of course, I will have everything linked in the description box below so you can easily click on what you're interested in or just go directly to my Amazon storefront. This one, y'all, I was like seeing so hyped up because everyone was like, oh my God, this smells like a candied apple. This smells like a caramel apple. And I love apple scents. I love caramelly apple scents. So I'm like, okay, I gotta check this one out. So Blanca has top notes of apple and grapes, middle notes of white woods, patchouli and ivory and base notes of caramel, amber, suede, musk, and Peru balsam. You have to spray this out a good five or six times and let it sit. I'm talking at least a week because when I first got this, it smelled literally like apple aftershave, some sort of apple men's deodorant, men's body spray. I don't know, girl. It had this weird apple-y cologne type of note. And I promise you, I was like, oh my God, what are the girls smelling? What is going on? But I was like, you know what? Let it sit. Because again, it was Amazon. I could not send her back. And I was like, let me just give it an opportunity and, you know, let the scents kind of develop a little bit. And y'all, when I tell you I resprayed it again yesterday, number one, lasted all day, beast mode longevity. And I finally was getting that super sweet caramelized apple type of note. It reminds me a lot of one of my favorite perfumes that I've just recently talked about in a couple of videos, which is Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. It has that same deep, sensual, slightly kind of woody caramelized fruit note, but it smells so freaking good, y'all. Like if you love scents like Vanilla Woods, by the seven virtues you will 100 love this this also slightly it gives me a more deep sexy seductive version of like juicy couture gold couture it is just so deep and decadent and rich y'all like this is definitely a date night fragrance a scent that's going to grab the attention of whatever room that you are in now i will say i do still get a little bit of that aftershave men's cologne type of vibe in the background even when it fully dries down to that caramelly sweetness i do still get a little bit of that men's like cologne aspect and i really think it's the patchouli and the suede in here that is kind of just making it smell a little bit like that but i find that when you layer this with a more lactonic creamy vanilla type of scent it kind of takes away that bite so this is just the most smooth delicious decadent caramelized apple scent you guys and it's just so sexy and i love this one so yeah this one i definitely came around to because i was not feeling it at first girl i had to give her another chance but i am so glad that i did now we're going to move into the house of all rehab and we're just going to start off with one that i've already talked about on my channel i think I originally talked about this in like a fall s'mores body care layering routine video. So I will link that up top if you are interested, but this is none other than Chaco Musk. This is another one that has the girlies in a chokehold and this one deserves all of its praise, okay? If you are a true gourmand chocolatey scent lover, this is literally milk chocolate perfection, okay? I really just get milk chocolate and like some sort of cookie or wafer type of scent. It literally smells like a chocolate biscuit or something. It just smells so incredibly good, you guys. Literally has 
the same notes throughout the duration of the fragrance which i love because when you are layering scents like this come in handy because you know exactly what you're going to get when you are mixing it with something else and you don't have to worry about the dry down and all the other stuff but chocolate musk has notes of vanilla milk chocolate white musk cinnamon spicy notes amber sandalwood myrrh and rose and i really don't get a whole lot of rose in here like i told you guys i really just get creamy milk chocolate that is what my nose picks up creamy milk chocolate with a little bit of vanilla in there and it's just perfection i love this one i get a decent performance with this one as well but this is also one that i don't mind reapplying because the bottle is pretty travel friendly so i don't mind throwing this in like my bag or something for a quick little touch up and if you just want to feel cozy and sweet this is a perfect scent for you to add to your collection if you are a chocolate lover. This next one is called Soft. This is another All Rehab fragrance. Notes of citruses, caramel, vanilla, white musk, orchid, jasmine, vetiver, and woody notes. And I can 100% confirm that this is a dupe for one of my all-time favorite fragrances, which is Lyra by Zhezhov. Y'all, this is like a slightly more powdery version of lyra lyra is like the fall winter deep decadent lemon pound cake whereas soft is the spring summertime lemon meringue whipped fluffy type of dessert like they are both very closely related in scent but this one's definitely a little bit more powdery a little bit more vanillic and not as deep of a caramel note that is in lyra just get a blast of lemon and caramel as soon as i spray this you guys like as soon as i spray this this would definitely be more of a daytime fragrance to me whereas something like lyra would be something you could wear at night again you can wear fragrances whenever you want but that's just the vibe that i get between the two and this one just gets lighter and fluffier powderier and more creamy the longer that it's on this one is not super beast mode at least not on me and it's also not something that lasts extremely extremely long but y'all these all rahab fragrances are like not anywhere between nine and fifteen dollars so i don't mind throwing something this small of this size in my purse or something for the day and reapplying for nine dollars it just smells so good y'all if you are a lover of gourmand citrus scents lemon pound cake type of scents this is definitely a no-brainer because i'm pretty sure she was only like eight dollars so yeah the last arihab fragrance is dalal this is another one that i have talked about in a layering video i believe it was my creme brulee layering video so i will link that up top but this one is very similar in structure to soft this is another fruity woody caramelly type of scent but instead of lemon this one has orange so this one has notes of caramel vanilla orange and sandalwood and it's definitely one of those citrusy woody vanillic type of scents and this is another one you guys that it kind of is a chameleon some days i smell more caramel and vanilla some days i smell more orange but this is another super easy throw on and go when you want to smell sweet and slightly seductive but it's also an easy reach because this one gives me a nice scent bubble but this is definitely not beast mode it's not super loud and projecting and it's also not the most long lasting which like i just said about some of our rehab's fragrances they're so cheap it really does not matter i don't mind reapplying it but this one definitely gets tons of compliments as well if you are a fan of scents like juicy couture gold couture this definitely reminds me of that and almost smells like a dupe for it but it's just a little bit more citrusy so if you like juicy couture gold couture i definitely think this is a good one for you to check out because it definitely pays homage to that scent i just feel like the caramel is a little bit more pronounced in here and then this has a little bit more of a citrusy kick to it now let's move in to the most hyped fragrance house with the most hyped fragrances right now which is latafa girl okay so we're just gonna start with yara because i know most of you guys are waiting for me to talk about yara so we're gonna talk about yara okay so here you guys is a little miss yara she's got this cute little baby pink bottle again with this huge amount of juice for a very affordable price you guys it has top notes of heliotrope orchid and tangerine middle notes of gourmand accord tropical fruits and base notes of vanilla musk and sandalwood Y'all, the girlies are hyping this up. They're hyping this up. And I'm gonna just go ahead and say, I wasn't blown away the first time I smelled this fragrance. I was not. I was very confused. I was very perplexed because 
The girlies were saying that this smells like Burberry Her Elixir. It smells like Mont Blanc Signature, which if you guys have been following me, those are two of my favorite scents ever that I, you know, have been wearing for a while. And I just recently talked about in my top 22 perfumes from last year that I used. So I will link that video up top. But yes, y'all, this did not give me either of those vibes. So I was expecting this creamy strawberries and cream. Like everyone's saying this smells like a strawberry milkshake, girl. All kind of stuff. Smell the most creamy strawberry milkshake type of scent. Like and just be head over heels. That's what I was expecting. That's not what I got. The scent instantly reminded me of two scents in my collection, okay? It reminded me one of Bath & Body Works Sunset Glow, which has a very similar kind of nutty salty beachy type of scent but with sunset glow it adds in that cherry note which is i think what makes me love this scent so freaking much this is like a citrusy a little bit more salty not a sweet version of sunset glow and it also reminds me of chirosa 62 because it has like this nutty pistachio kind of vibe as well it's like a salty nutty type of vibe is what i'm picking up but again this is another scent that i love because this not only has that saltiness but it has the caramel which really makes this scent a lot sweeter and more gourmand to me just confusing to me you guys okay as soon as i sprayed it i instantly got heliotrope and mandarin i instantly smelled that heliotrope is one of those florals that can be a little hard to identify sometimes because it smells more of like a nutty it has more of like a nutty profile like similar to almonds and pistachios and things like that so i picked that up almost instantly and it was mixing in with that orangey mandarin note and then I started to get pineapple. I started to get those tropical fruits as well. So it was just like a very citrusy floral type of scent. And I would spray myself down with this. Like the gourmand accord note that's in here, it has to be some sort of like buttery or salty kind of vibe because that is what I pick up in here. And it just translates a little bit weird to me, y'all. It translates a little bit weird to me. Sometimes when I smell it right up on myself, it almost smells a little bit like cat pee like i don't know y'all it's just it's it's a very strange fragrance but plot twist the few times that i did wear this out and like test it out for full days going to work going around people i would get compliments wearing this so i didn't particularly find this fragrance the most appealing but it does get way sweeter the more that it dries down and it does tar start to get a little bit more creamier and have kind of that lactonic sweetness lactonic vanillic creaminess so i find with this one i much prefer it in like the scent trail because i sprayed it on a blanket the other day and i was like shaking out the blanket and i caught a whiff of it and it almost smelled like berries and cream but when i smell it on my skin and i smell it directly up close or even on my clothes it just has this this weird scent that does not translate all that great to me it's like some days I'll smell it and I'm like oh, okay this is okay and then other days I'm like ew this smells like pickle juice or something like I don't know I don't know it takes out those salty aspects from both sunset glow and Cherosa 62 and it just mixes it with like this creamy citrusy tropical type of scent and it just translates kind of weird to my nose, you guys. I do think that this lasts a really, really long time, so I will give it that. It lasts really long on clothes and, like, articles of clothing and things like that, but this one might be on the chopping block for me, you guys. Like, I obviously, I can't send this back, so I may possibly be selling this on Mercari. I'm really not sure. I think I'm going to let it sit for at least another month and revisit it. I've worn this at least five or six days, giving it a good wear test, and I'm just really not impressed with it, unfortunately, so so many of the girls love this of course you guys i always say try things out for yourself if you are genuinely intrigued but for me it just it just wasn't really doing it's not doing what i was expecting it to do and i think it's because of this false expectation that i had because everyone was comparing it to two of my favorite scents i was expecting it to fit into that family and I don't know it's just not doing it for me so yeah girl yara we i personally am on the fence about her i am really not sure what i'm going to do but i will keep you guys posted now on the flip side this is yara moa first of all i like the packaging of this one better because of the gold hello y'all know i'm a gold girl but this is yara moa now this one i barely saw any reviews on amazon so i really had no idea what to expect with this one and it's not even showing up 
one fragrance because so i had to look up the notes on joma shop this one has top notes of jasmine and peach middle notes of amber and caramel and base notes of sandalwood and patchouli and those notes sounded a little bit more up my alley i was like okay this is a mixing a bunch of different things that i know i love so i feel like this is going to be a perfect fall you know winter sexy seductive type of fragrance and it actually doesn't smell like that at all this is actually a very classically smelling fresh clean sweet floral but i actually really like it and that's coming from someone who does not typically do a lot of florals it just smells very classic it reminds me of something that would come from like versace or you know dior or even chanel it just has that classically feminine fresh floral type of vibe it's a little bit green as well but i feel like it's green in a good way i think it's really the peach it's more of a fresh peach and not like a syrupy sweet peach that's like overly ripe this gives me the vibes as if the girls are at brunch okay it's a fresh spring day like we're creeping into spring where there's still a little bit of a breeze from the winter y'all are sitting outside everyone's having a linen suit moment everyone has on a wide brim hat platform espadrilles like that's the vibe that i get with this just very clean breezy slightly sweet a little fresh but this is giving me the girls in their 30s and up okay like of course you can wear fragrances at any age whenever you want but that is what i get from this fragrance and i think that's why i like it girl because i'm a part of the 30 and up club okay i like this one this one's definitely very sophisticated and it has some layers about it so i'm very excited to actually play around with this one a little bit more in the springtime because i think this will layer beautifully with some more gourmand scents or by itself you guys like i definitely feel like this one is a complete fragrance on its own and i did notice it was a little sharp the first couple of times i sprayed it which arabian perfumes do typically have like a little bit more of an alcohol concentration so that's why i stress you really have to spray these a few times before you truly come back and wear it and give it a smell test but i think this one's going to age beautifully especially as that caramel starts to deepen in here, I think this one is going to do really, really well. So again, I don't think this is a safe blind buy unless you are a floral girl or you are kind of someone who likes those more classic type of scents. But this definitely gives me clean girl vibes, fresh girl vibes, springtime vibes, and she will for sure be a part of my spring lineup so I can get to know her just a little bit better. This one is called Ajwad. Now, this is another one that is like all over the place. It was like in the top of the top when it came to the list. And I really didn't go too deep into the Fragrantica reviews because there were so many amazing reviews on Amazon that I was like, whatever girl, just try it out. You know, usually I'm really good with blind buying you guys. All of these fragrances were blind buys because you can't test Amazon scents, okay? We had a couple of fails. And for me, this is one of them. Um, first of all, get into the bottle. This bottle is gorgeous. Like. I heavily debated keeping it for the bottle alone, but girl, let me tell you why she gotta go. So Ajwad has top notes of fruity notes, middle notes of rose and jasmine, and base notes of musk, vanilla, amber, and cedar. I'm gonna try my best not to gag on camera, you guys, when I smell this because, oh my God, oh my God, I can't. Y'all, this scent. Let me look up my notes because I had to really type my notes out for this one because I don't want to offend anyone because surprisingly, a lot of people really, really enjoy this. But I will be selling this for sure on Mercari. Let's start there. I'm just really shocked at how many people enjoy this. And it just goes to show you guys that not all of us are going to smell things the same. And to me, this smelled very savory, very metallic, like the fruits. It smelled like the fruits had been sitting out in the sun and they were rotting it it smelled very similar to a scent by Mugler that i just don't really care for which is called womanity because it has this very savory note and it honestly it smells a little bit like blood to me i'm not gonna lie it smells a little bit like blood if you have a sensitive stomach i'm sorry i'm saying that on camera but it smells a little bit like blood and i just i smell it and it instantly makes me a little bit nauseous um and i think it's really just the fruits and something else in here that just smells so metallic that it smells like if you put moldy fruit inside of aluminum foil and let it sit out in the sun and then breathe it in that's what this smells like it just smells hot it smells musky it's muggy i just 
girl i cannot get with this one i tried to give it an opportunity sprayed it a few times let it sit sprayed it a few times and each time i spray this you guys it just makes me literally physically sick I'm not even gonna play myself trying to let this sit and see what happens with it like i just don't see any potential of me ever wanting to even try to layer this because the smell literally makes me want to regurgitate so that is ajwad that's how i feel about it of course there are some people out there that love it so girl if you want to deep dive and do a blind buy after my review you go right ahead let me know hopefully you love it if not girl i tried to warn you okay <laughs> okay now moving on to something a little bit more exciting from latafa this is one that i actually recently talked about in my valentine's day layering combo video so if you are interested in seeing what i layered this with definitely check that video out i will link it up top but this first of all the presentation alone of this you guys gorgeous freaking gorgeous but this is being overly, I won't say overly hyped, but this is being super hyped up right now because it is said to be a dupe for Killian's Angel Share. And I will tell y'all right now, this does not give me Angel Share, okay? I can see how people would compare the two um, because number one, the bottle, hello. But number two, the scent profile is kind of similar. But to me, Angel Share is a very boozy, you know, alcoholic, very masculine, smelling fragrance to me i know it is considered unisex but it has always smelled very masculine on me i know a lot of people who tell me that if they wear it their partner also wears it like it's one of those unisex scents that you guys can share but i just have never really cared for how it smelled on me because i just felt it was a little bit too boozy which is the same way that i kind of feel about scents like tobacco vanille from tom ford like they're sweet but they just are a little bit too masculine for me but this this is a 10 out of 10 perfectly done fragrance, okay? This has top notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, and bergamot, middle notes of dates, praline, tuberose, mahonio, and base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, myrrh, amberwood, and acagala wood. Now, y'all, that is just, the notes alone make your mouth water. I love this way more than Angel Share, okay? This is giving gourmand, this is giving sexy, this is giving cozy, seductive, this is giving feminine. It's giving edible, okay? It's giving edible. Cinnamon, nutmeg, praline, bubblegummy tuberose, and tonka bean, and is grounded by a little bit of resins, a little bit of woods, like, hello, this is like gourmand heaven, okay? It's like perfect because it smells gourmand, but at the same time, that touch of those woody aspects really just gives it just a touch of sexiness and just a touch of like that perfume note, but it doesn't overtake the fragrance and it still makes this be more of a gourmand scent. Honestly, you guys, if I was not trying to cut down on my perfume collection, I would literally have two bottles of this because it smells that freaking amazing this gives me like rum cake if you guys have ever had a rum cake or even like a fruit cake without the fruit like a cinnamon bunt cake it just smells like some sort of cinnamony nutmeggy baked good some sort of spiced baked good it just smells so incredible you guys and not only that it has great projection it has great longevity like y'all this literally lasted on me all freaking day and if you pair this with the fenty holiday butter drop which is like a cinnamony type of body butter or with eos vanilla cashmere girl that has been my go-to combo aside from the combo that i recommended in my valentine's day um video but that has been my go-to combo and it has just been having me smelling like a walk-in easy bake oven girl like i don't know i don't know what else to say i just say y'all need to get this and that's it bye okay not bye y'all i'm back okay so the last one that i want to talk about is nebras this is another latafa fragrance and this one has the girlies in a chokehold as well because this is said to be a dupe for eilish and i have tested the two side by side i'm talking one on one arm and the other on the other arm literally like a few days now and i can 100 percent confirm nebras she is definitely a dupe for eilish okay like literally down to the notes you guys i think the notes are exactly the same as eilish if i'm not mistaken minus one or two things this one has top notes of red berries and mandarin orange middle notes of vanilla cacao and rose and base notes of sugar tonka bean amber and musk and literally you guys side by side like 
Someone who has never smelled either of the two scents would not be able to tell the difference between this and Eilish, okay? But I will say the main difference for me was that I feel like this one has just a touch more of those fruits in the opening and makes this be not as cloying and metallic as I felt like Eilish was in the opening. I do love Eilish, but I always say that the opening is a little hard for me to get through sometimes because it can smell a little metallic-y, but I feel like this one is a lot smoother in the opening compared to Eilish and it does dry down to something that smells pretty similar. It also performs better than Eilish. I would say that this gives me a little bit more of a scent bubble than Eilish does. It's a little bit stronger. It also lasts a lot longer. So I feel like Eilish gives me a good three or four hours before it's truly like a skin scent, whereas this one lasted on me at least a good eight, 10 hours before I really felt like I needed to reapply it. So, and even then I didn't feel like I needed to reapply it. So y'all, this one is definitely a 10 out of 10. I feel like if you have eyelash, you probably don't really need this, but if you want another option that is extremely similar to Eilish that lasts longer and gives you a little bit more of a scent bubble, I definitely recommend you check this out because for the same price, they're pretty much the same price. So I don't even want to call it a dupe. They are around the same price point, but this one is just a little bit better quality and if you love eyelash and you want something that lasts longer that smells a little bit more smooth i definitely recommend nebras both nebras and eyelash if you have never smelled the two just give me sexy vanilla snickerdoodle cookie vibes you are going to get tons of compliments from both men and women asking you what you are wearing so if you are a lover of those spicy gourmand type of scents both this and Kamra are like 10 out of 10 i definitely recommend you guys pick those up all right you guys that is it for explaining everything now let's go ahead and rate all of my faves from worst to best okay coming in at number 13 y'all already knew little miss ajwad she gots to go she's going on mercari she's getting out of here because i literally cannot stomach the scent i'm so sorry to anyone who loves this fragrance but she's a no for me next one is number 12 which is going to be shagaf oud again i don't particularly think this is a bad fragrance this is just not a fragrance for me because number one i have vanilla royale which i feel like is a much more sweet feminine version of this and this just has a little bit too much oud in it for me and i do think i'm going to keep it for a little while to see how it smells in the next couple of months but so far it's just not a love for me i just know there will be other things that i will prefer to wear but i do think this will make a great layering base so i'm hoping that it sweetens up over the next few months i'm going to revisit it and i will update you guys on what i decide to do with her coming at number 11 this is going to hurt some feelings but little miss yara y'all i really again i don't know what i'm gonna do with her right now i think i'm gonna keep it see how she does because i do think that she might do really well in the summer with those tropical fruits that are in here so i'm really hoping that this starts to smell better it's just not doing it for me it's just a very peculiar strange fragrance and i'm just not really feeling it like that so again i will keep it i will update you guys and try to continue layering this with some scents i did layer this with Burberry her elixir some of you guys may have seen that if you follow me on instagram and that did sweeten it up and make it a little bit more creamy but overall you guys the scent by itself i'm just not feeling it so the rest of this list is going to be a little bit hard because of these are no for sure i'm keeping all of them and i just like them in different ways so the next one coming in at number 10 is the yara moi this isn't a typical type of fragrance that i go for because again i do feel like while this does have those gourmand notes in there, the peach and the caramel, I really just get more of a fresh classic floral type of scent that reminds me of scents like Versace Yellow Diamond, like just those very classic floral feminine fragrances that are very classy. And I just feel like this will be an easy reach for me to wear in the spring. I'm not really thinking about scents like that right now, but I do think I will get some great use out of this once it starts to warm up a little bit. So yeah, Yara Mawa, she is staying. The next one is going to be Dalal. Again, a scent profile that I really, really love. My only issue with it is I wish it was a little bit stronger and lasted a little bit longer, but it is a cute, cheap, affordable fragrance that you can touch up throughout the day without feeling guilty because it's literally only only nine dollars coming in at number eight is going to be royal amber this one again another scent profile that i really really like 
it's not the loudest it does not have the most beast mode projection but i do think that this scent profile is going to do very well in the spring that very fruity amber with a little bit of vanilla i just really think this is going to do super well in the hot weather for all of your outdoor activities it's going to be la venture rose again this is not a typical scent profile that i go for but i have really been very much into jammy and vanilla rose fragrances in the last year or so so i'm excited to get a little bit more wear out of this i do feel like this is kind of a very specific kind of outfit that i would need to need to be wearing when i wear this because again it's very elegant it's very feminine and i really feel like i need to be dressed up to wear this but i do really really like it and i think this is a great option for the spring and summer number six pick is the casablanca this honestly would have been a little bit higher up if i did not love all the others but that once you get past that kind of apple toothpaste aftershave type of scent again you guys spray this one out let it sit i promise you this is the most delicious caramelized apple type of fragrance and it pairs really really well with other vanilla type of scents it just gives it a little bit more creaminess and really just makes this smell like a caramelized apple dessert so yes that is casablanca by swiss arabian and number five pick is soft surprisingly this little cheapie is moving up in the ranks just because sometimes while while Lyra is like one of my top favorite scents ever, I do feel like sometimes it can be a little heavy to wear during the day or to wear in the spring and summer. And I feel like soft is a way for me to get my Lyra fix without feeling that suffocatingly sweet type of scent, especially on those days where I'm feeling a little bit more susceptible to my migraines. And this is just a delicious vanilla cream, vanilla cream pie, vanilla cake type of scent. And I am a stand for scents like that. So yes, you guys definitely recommend recommend soft number four is amber rouge in this gorgeous gorgeous bottle the baccarat x straight dupe y'all this just smells like money it just smells amazing and when i wear it the projection the performance the scent itself truly truly a yummy delicious amazing fragrance and if you need something that's really going to make you feel like that girl like even though i feel like i can see myself wearing something dressy this is another one of those scents that i feel like is super versatile where i could wear it during the day and be just fine and not feel like i'm overdressed when it comes to my perfume so yes you guys Definitely think this is like the hands down best Baccarat Rouge X straight dupe I have ever smelled. Number three is my girl Choco Musk, okay? She's cheap, but she's mighty, okay? If you love chocolate scents, this is just such a great staple cheapy. I love a good cheap layering fragrance because while you may or may not want to wear it on its own, I feel like just just this just adds the perfect gourmand touch to any fragrance and I feel like there's nothing that I have not layered Choco Musk with that it did not smell amazing with which I featured this in my last layering video as well so definitely make sure you check that out but yeah girl Choco Musk she's just that girl if you are a chocolate lover if you want to smell like a Hershey's milk chocolate bar girl scoop her up okay right my number two pick y'all as a Billie Eilish Eilish lover, y'all knew Nebras was going to be right up at the top. I personally never felt that I had super major performance issues with Eilish, but once I compared it side by side to Nebras, I can definitely say this is the better <laughs> reformulated version of Eilish. And I would most likely repurchase this one before I repurchase another bottle of Eilish. So definitely recommend this one if you are a fan of those smoky, slightly spicy vanilla cookie type of fragrances and you want something that's going to get you some compliments from someone, girl. This is definitely a man magnet, man catcher, et cetera, et cetera. And y'all knew my number one, my girl, Kamra. Y'all this fragrance is delicious. She's edible, she's sexy, she plays well with others, she performs well. She just hit all the marks for me. She hit all the marks. She does not smell like anything else that I've smelled, is why I think this one beat out Nebras for the number one spot for me. But those two were definitely my faves. And if you are a gourmand girl and only wanted to have to pick one or two from this video, this one and Eilish, y'all, they just have my heart right now. They have my heart. They're heavily in the rotation. And I'm going to have to chill on wearing them because, again, I'm not trying to get any backup bottles of perfumes right now. I've been doing really well with decluttering, which, by the way, I have a perfume declutter video coming up. So when you see Ajwad in that video, girl, pretend like you didn't see it. 
but yeah y'all this is just a love for me love 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 highly recommend all right you guys that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this ranking video i know it was a little bit longer than some of my other videos but if you were like me and super curious about some of these arabian perfumes on amazon I hope this helped you guys to make a more informed decision on what you might want to pick up. And of course, everything will be linked in the description box below on my Amazon storefront, as well as the individual links. So I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate all who support. But that is it for today's video, you guys. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.